Southern Kingdom was constructed in 1941 by the Brazos River Authority, which controls the Brazos River and its tributaries, the longest river system in Texas. Possum Kingdom is the farthest north lake on this system and was built for water use and to produce power. Now it turns out that the water was not usable from this lake because the Brazos River, as it drains through the Permian rocks to the west, which are infused with salts like halite and gypsum, wash these salts down into the lake and you actually get a very salty concentration of water here. The truth is the water is so salty that the local towns around here actually have to get their water either from other lakes or from wells because the water here is too salty to drink. Many times in the past people have come in and done studies to see about building desalinization plants on the water just in order to be able to use Possum Kingdom for something other than just hydroelectric generation. Possum Kingdom is one of the deepest and clearest lakes in Texas. Matter of fact, one of the most popular recreational activities here is scuba diving. Scuba divers from all over the Metroplex come to Possum Kingdom to practice and learn because of the very clear water. It's part of the salinity of the lake which helps make the lake so clear. Many of the creatures, mosses, and different plant life that would grow in most normal North Texas lakes doesn't thrive here because of the elevated salinities of the water. Because of that, scuba divers flock to the area to go and penetrate the depths of the lake along the limestone walls which form the very narrow and steep boundaries of the lake down at its southern end. The unique character of Possum Kingdom Lake comes from the geology. This entire area is held up by Pennsylvanian age limestone, sandstones, and shales. Pennsylvanian meaning these rocks are upwards to 300 million years old, some of the oldest rocks in North Texas. These particular limestones are flat lying and are fairly thick, about 200 feet thick. Actually in the area of the dam, you can see that the Brazos River has cut down through those limestones to its current level creating relatively steep walled canyons. Now when they came in and built more Shepherd Dam back in 1941, this was a great place to put it because you have steep walled canyons in an area of about 200 feet elevation change. You can back up a lot of water in a canyon when you've got 200 feet of difference. So after the lake was built, much of the river was flooded, but there are many places where you can still see the 200 foot limestone cliffs. One of those places is down by the spillway. Keep in mind that the dam itself is 19 stories high, so a 19 story building would sit up right next to it nicely. So the rocks you see around the lake are actually only about 100 feet high. If you come here to the observation deck above the dam, then you'll see very simply that you do not want to jump off. Another interesting aspect of the geology at Possum Kingdom is its unusual shape. If you look at an aerial photo or a map of Possum Kingdom, it looks like a snake. It wraps around and curls back on itself, much like a meandering river. And indeed, the Brazos through this area is a meandering river now. In past, it hasn't necessarily been. But this meandering river loops and turns and lazily draws back on itself. Most meandering rivers do not have a lot of power associated with them. In other words, they don't have a lot of cutting power. Rivers like the Colorado that flow through the Grand Canyon have a lot of cutting power. They carry a lot of rocks, they carry a lot of sediment that, like a knife, cuts down through the rocks and eventually you might have a big canyon. This is not the case here. This is a meandering stream that doesn't have much power and yet we still end up with a canyon that's 200 feet deep. The reason is because of the bedrock. The limestone here is easily eroded away and the chemical action of a meandering river flowing through this area, coupled with changes in the elevation of the land over the years, has formed this relatively unusual feature that is this meandering canyon. And it's this canyon that was backed up with the lake when it was flooded, and it's what gives Possum Kingdom that unique shape. It also is what created these special formations like Hell's Gate, which is one of the most photographed places on Possum Kingdom.